Hey, Mike Callahan here with Callahan's Corner, where you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. So pre-submitted question for today was, what should I be tracking in my service business on a daily basis for success? So um, perfect timing of the year, whether you're in lawn care or home cleaning or any other service business, the springtime rush right now is upon us. And there's certain things, in my opinion, that we need to be looking at for success. So as you can kind of see in the wall here on the back of my home office, we've got um, a couple of the articles from Lawn and Landscape Magazine, where I've shared my industry experience of things we've gotten right and things we've gotten wrong and how we've learned from those. Um, and one of the things in the early days that we definitely did not get right was tracking certain things and setting expectations. So um, kind of fitting as we're sitting in my home office here, I'm going to swing around here and we've got um, the jersey on the wall here from uh, my little well, little but bigger brother, um, who was the captain of the New York Rangers for six or seven years, and then the assistant captain of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, where I'm kind of tying this all together is the New York Rangers, any professional sports team, they have certain expectations that this sports teams and all sports teams set for their players. There's certain numbers that they need to be driving for success, a metric. So is it a plus or minus? Is it goals or assists, blocked shots? Whatever that metric is, a professional sports team is setting expectations for their players and their management and the, and the coaches. And they're being held to that on a daily or nightly basis based on the games and practices. Well, what I'm going to suggest is we really need to do the same thing in our businesses. We're going to set some expectations like a pro sports team. So you've heard the analogy where I talk about stacking the virtual bench like a sports team for going out and recruiting employees. Well, once we have those employees, we really need to dive in and set some expectations. So what I'm going to say is if you are not giving your employees budgeted time for every job, including uh, non-billable mobilization, you are missing the boat. If you are packing your schedule with jobs and getting enough jobs on that schedule so uh, the guys and girls will like literally, in a lawn care example, literally have 10 jobs and they probably can only physically finish eight, but you're overloading that schedule and you're not setting an expectation. You're just going to say, work until the day's done and do as many jobs as you can. Um, that's an issue. So we need to set an expectation. Now, if you're in the cleaning industry, you're setting an expectation of how many homes have to be cleaned in the day, or even in the lawn care industry, how many lawns or spring cleanups need to be done right now. But are we setting a budgeted time with a quality constraint? So I know Martha Woodward of QDS Quality Driven Software has just announced her 2020 uh, conference in sunny San Diego. So I'm excited and hopefully to see you guys and girls there. But Martha is the queen of quality. And, and if we take the production and expectation of how long it should take with a quality standard, that's the key. So we need to tell our folks in the field how long it should take with non-billable uh, uh, mobilization for drive time. So we can't just say, hey, we, we expect you to hit 80% efficiency because the other 20% is your drive time. No, we need to build that into the budget of time and set a realistic expectation that you're going to hit 100% each and every time each day with a quality constraint. So we need to track and set an expectation of budgeted versus um, actual hours with a quality constraint at a bare minimum. At the end of the day, we should set an expectation. When we go into our software, is CRM, a customer relationship management software. Now, it doesn't matter the CRM, what software you're doing, or maybe it's a, a GPS system where they're clocking in and on an app, but we need a start and stop time for drive time, and we need a start and stop time for every job, and we need to know what employees were on that job and specifically when they clocked in and clocked out. So we're setting an expectation from the company of the budgeted time when they need to get it done with a quality constraint, the expectation that they're clocking in and out of these jobs and drive time so we can, as a company can track this. And then the third thing is set an expectation of your crews communicating if job conditions have changed. So maybe in the home cleaning industry, you're going to a house and um, things have changed. Maybe they've added two or three pets that, as Debbie Sardon calls it, that dirt coat is raised up. So it's not an expectation that's being able to be met based on the conditions on site, or maybe you're mowing a lawn and the customer's added 10 or 15 trees in the front yard or the backyard. Well, that's an expectation that is going to be hard to be met by that budget at time because the site conditions have changed. So we need to set very clear and trackable execution um, numbers for our teams. And as a business owner, the expectation on us is to give them 
almost immediate feedback, very quick and relevant feedback on what is being produced and tracked. And as a business owner, we should set some expectations for our office or the business owner, hopefully the office, but if we haven't scaled to that point, to go in and confirm the budget versus actual time. Are we making money? Uh, Do we have start and stop time for every job? And do we have a budgeted time and price for every job? I can't tell you how many companies I've gone in with a deep dive where people come out to New York or now virtually and sit knee to knee with us. And we go in and they've got two, three, maybe 15, 20 jobs in their system that they're doing, but they're not getting billed out because they don't have a price in their software system or they don't have a budgeted time. So we don't know if we're actually making money or um, not making money. So we need to set the expectation for the crews. But as a business, we need to go in and give them relevant feedback and track that and then run job costing reports to see if we're making money and hitting our hourly goals on average across all our jobs each day and each week. And then at least twice a year, July, and I recommend November, December, run a job cost report. So if our goal is $60 per man hour, if we're not hitting 60 on average, how much do we need to raise that price to the penny to hit that hourly goal? Those are the things. So I need I need business owners, if you haven't done this, look inward, set three expectations, your big three for yourself as a business and set clear expectations that are trackable for your team. Because if you just say, go out and do all the jobs you can, um, there's no expectation. They don't know what it is. They're just going to go and work to the 40 hours to the, and keep that pulse so they can get into that overtime. And that's not a good scenario. We want to be clear expectations with quality standards day in and day out. And that's how we're going to go in and build a rock star team. And we're going to realize if our team members are a good fit and are accountable to what they're doing with the quality standard immediately. And then if they're not, we coach them up or we coach them out. But we're slow to hire and quick to fire if we can't coach them up because a bad fit on the team will erode your company culture and erode your bottom line profits. Um, There's a couple other things that I recommend doing. I'm going to dive into that to a video later this week, how to track your budget versus actual and how to get that into a product like QuickBooks. I'll do a screen share on that. Um, but how do we set our budget versus actual and track that in an accrual um, and cash basis? What are the differences between those and how do we do that? So uh, any of the pre-submitted questions, feel free to drop them in a private message or on this video. Uh, Callahan's Corner, you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. Set those clear expectations for your crews and give them immediate feedback as quick as possible. It's clear and transparent. So hold your teams accountable to certain numbers that are obvious such as budgeted time, clock in and clock out that's accurate, and um, if job conditions have changed and those job expectations you've set in the first two steps aren't accurate, go in and adjust them and be on the same team as your team instead of going in and being antagonistic and yelling or you know, basically getting all up in your team's face when really you guys are on the same team and you're working together for a common goal of profitability for the company and profitability for your team. So Callahan's Corner, U.S. questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. We'll see you again live sometime.